Nuffield Health, a charity, um, basically commissioned uh, a healthy index, uh, launched a healthy index, uh, healthier index. And um, they had done a survey of 8,000 people mm -hmm. to find out about their mental and physical well-being. Mm -hmm. And the stats were quite shocking, really, because they were saying sort of like 60% uh, of people's physical health and 59% um, of people's mental health were um, suffering because of the cost of living crisis. And following, so, on, and following off the back of, you know, several years of COVID in which we all, we all were ground down a little bit. Yeah, we? and it's, very, it's, it's interesting because some are saying, like, their physical health is better because they learnt different things during the pandemic. Right. So if you think about it, you know, some people went the whole, I've got to get out, so I've got to walk, I've got to cycle, I've got to <laughs> run, you know, so all these people that never did it before. But that's because we had time. Now we're getting back into our, our busier lifestyles, aren't we? And what people are saying is that it's having a huge impact on their physical and mental health, but people aren't looking at the correlation between the both. Mm. So five, but five extra minutes. Yeah. I mean, to me, that, that, that doesn't sound an awful lot, given, given that, you know, I live my professional life in 15-minute chunks. But, yes. but, but five minutes can really have a, have a turnaround effect for people. Yeah, because sometimes it's just um, mindset, isn't mm -hmm. it, changing? So, as you mentioned, you know, if you got off the bus, let's say, at the stop before the one you should have, that's mm -hmm. a quick, brisk walk. You'd make a conscious decision to change. You know, if you um, are looking... Even if you're looking online, it's taking five minutes to see what can you do at home to do exercise so there's so much free resources online isn't there that you can actually take that conscious decision breathing techniques take uh, five minutes earlier of putting your phone down before you go to bed you know all things that are more healthier for you are going to help you de-stress lose that anxiety they're saying that we should have and i i didn't even realize this stat between seven to nine hours of sleep at night, but I'm on right. average, sorry, people are speaking getting... <laughs> on behalf of the entire breakfast <laughs> right. team, that is not it's possible. It's not happening. But on average, it's five hours and fifty-four minutes. Mm. Now, if that's the average, and yet you're meant to be getting mm. between seven and nine, that's not good, is it? And no. people are saying they're stressed, they can't sleep, and sleep is a really big thing. And I'm bad at it myself. Yeah. So there are little conscious things that we can change, and that actually only takes five minutes think about it. It, it. It's making that first step, though. I mean, I, 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 over the past couple of years, I've seen my, my physical health kind of go up and down. And I've tried, yeah. I'm, clearly, I'm, I'm clearly not at peak physical fitness again, but I am back in the gym mm. and I am back in the swimming pool. But it was getting started yeah. that was the biggest issue for me. I mean, given, given your pedigree and given the kind of sports psychology that you, the psychologist you will have worked with, how do, you, how do you take that first step? How do you work up the courage to start yourself on the road to getting yourself slightly better? I think it is taking accountability of yourself because most people's mental health will suffer if their physical health isn't good and vice versa. So it's actually making those conscious decisions to change. Now, if everybody knows when they don't feel that great about themselves, whether that's physically or mentally, and actually you can go for a really five minutes what you can make a conscious decision instead of actually watching the ads during a break of your show, get up and move. Mm. You know, going up downstairs, going out for that quick extra walk, kind of just moving the body can have a big positive effect. Um, and then also, I'd say do things with people. You know, socialising is really important. Meet somebody at a park, meet your best mate and just take that time. But I think we're not taking that time anymore because we've got back to our busy lifestyles and that's where you see the stats starting to get worse and worse. So think about what you've done when you felt brilliant. Mm. What was it that makes you feel good, alive? I went for a walk this weekend with my mates. Mm -hmm. You know, they've been friends... 42 years, oh. you know, and they we all live close together and I'm thinking, why aren't we meeting up? So I just texted and said, I need friend time. And I literally said, I need some friend time because I was so stressed and anxious because I've been so busy. Mm. And I thought, do you know what? And do you know, it was the best thing. I had loves, we went for a walk and I felt so good when I got back. I was just ready for my week again. I see, I, I think some people who have been listening to that will, will have been slightly shocked that, that mm. someone who has dealt with, you know, mm. professional sport at the level that you were at... Mm. Mm. Uh, can, could, could even experience stress in, in the first place? Oh, well, I've had a lot of mental health problems, mm. like I have, and I'm very open with mm. it because, you know, lifestyles change and, you know, we go through different parts of our life where they have lots of impacts. Mm. And there's been times where the adverse effect on my mental health has actually given me um, the sense of, I can't be bothered, I'm not motivated, you know, I just... Uh, lethargic mm -hmm. and actually if I think about it I'm thinking but that's what also makes me good when I move mm -hmm. so I have to take that accountability of myself as well that when I'm feeling low and I'm feeling like frustrated 
the last thing you want to do sometimes, just want to wrap up and stay indoors or yeah. stay in bed. But actually, I know that if I get myself up and going, that endorphins, adrenaline will make me feel better and happier. So it is us looking at our lifestyles and going, do you know what? I, it's stressful anyway. Life is stressful anyway for so many people. We all know that. But if you could actually go, do you know what? I am going to take that five minutes for me. And I don't care. It's non-negotiable to think about yourself and to think about your health. And so I think we should all take that into account. I think we should. But, but it's the idea, I think, that will be refreshing for some people to hear. Mm. You don't need to go out and run a marathon. No. You don't need to be going to the gym five days a week. You don't need to be doing kind of the level of training that you obviously did when, <clears> you, when, when, you, were, when you were at your peak. No. But five minutes and doing something. You've, you've, you've yeah. given us one example, getting off the bus a stop earlier. Give us another couple. OK, so a lot of people have stairs at home, like going up and down the stairs. That gets your heart rate up, right? But you can see how unfit you are when you do it even once. So you could go up and down your stairs, you can do little step-ups on your stairs, you can go online. There's so many free examples of fitness. So core, upper body, even with like tins or like your big bottle, two little bottles of water. If that's all you've got, sit there on your sofa, using your arms, pressing it up, you know, you can... It, do you know what? It is arm so day for things. me today. So there you go. We could, we could do, do a little bit of... And then I'll do my <laughs> There we go. We could do some well. tricep dips off the end of the bench. No, but there is lots... <laughs> Maybe, no. <laughs> maybe not. Some people still have not had their breakfast yet. <laughs> no, but there, there, there are things. And when you say five minutes, people say five minutes can't make a difference. If you get your heart rate up for five minutes more than you ever do, that will also then go into 10 and 15. Because when you start to feel... Firstly, if you feel how unfit you are sometimes, that shocks people. Yeah. So then they make a conscious effort to do it more. And it's about consistency. So just very quickly, um, nuffoldhealth.com forward slash healthier nation. That's got lots of free resources on that mm. website of how to keep fit, how to change lifestyles, how to do things positive for yourself, both nutritionally and physically. It is wonderful to have you here this morning. Wonderful to hear you speaking with such excitement about, you know, something that could can change people's uh, change people's minds and turn their lives around a bit.